Chono 6, the ultimate version, available on Trading Engine. Link in the description. These days, most of the smartphones came with basically nothing, not even a cable. This one is different. A huge box could give us some extras. Let's unbox it. There you go. At the very top, we do have a smartphone, NFC logo, and accessories. This feels very premium. Very. Well, what's in here? Lift it. It says, well, it shows the picture. I think this could be a case. It could be. And the SIM card tool. There it is, a SIM card tool. Looks very nice. Wow. Everything is in black. And the manual, okay. Yeah. Stretch that manual a little bit. And there you go. A plastic case. Let me put it aside. Charging brick. Also in black. 100 watt charging brick. Nice. Very nice. And of course, a cable. USB type C cable, I'm assuming. A to C. Now everything is branded black. That is very, very nice. This is a black version, so let me lift the phone. Wow. And, uh, what is that? Okay, there's a QR code. Pause the video if you want to read it. Scan it. That's very nice. All right. And I have that gold trim. And the camera looks, looks silver, but in real life, it it is goldish. Very bright gold. Well, looks fantastic. We do have artificial leather. Wow, it feels really good in the hand. It is a, it is a dust magnet, it is. On the right side, we do have a power button, volume buttons, which are the correct height. My finger is reaching it nicely. We do have microphone, antenna, ear blaster, speaker, and another antenna. More antennas, SIM card tray, microphone, antenna, USB Type-C, antenna, and speaker. Three cameras, double flash, and a lot of sensors. Not sure if you're able to see it. I'm sure you noticed the case, which I already broke. I'm sorry, it was so tight and I, I, I just broke it in both sides. Anyway, let's put it on. And it's so very tight. Now it's less tight. It is protecting your camera, but only at the top and bottom, not on the sides. And similar on the screen, only top and bottom and corners, not on the sides. It feels pretty good with that case. The case is not slippery. It is hard plastic, but it's not slippery at all. The device itself is greeting us with a beautiful golden stripe. Satisfaction. Fingerprint sensor. It is quick. Really quick. Also, the whole menu is quick. 120 hertz. We do have a lot of pre-installed apps which you can manage, customize. There will be a link in the description for you with a video to watch it, to learn how to do it. But the main question is how many languages do we have in this one? Region, add language. And we do have tons of them. Maybe even most of them. So many languages. 5G is, of course, available. A little test for you. Indoors, so and indoors, okay, indoors, well, in the studio, is the world going to work? You have display settings, we have a dark mode or auto switch, it's day or night, it will recognize the time of the day. Display size, you can make it larger, smaller, let's stick with a default, we do have Screen resolution, all the way from 2100 to 2800. Of course, we are in high. You can hit also smart resolution if you wanted to. And of course, screen refresh rate, dynamic, standard, and high. Let's take with the high. We can also manage the different apps. Video and chat mode. Okay, let's, why not? Why, why not? AI will, more display settings. Display cutout. For example, hitting the music, you can be YouTube, whatever. And we do have some music, yeah? 
can play. And if you swipe it, it will show up at the top, at the cutout, with a beautiful animation that it's actually walking. Of course, you can tap it, pause it, take another one if you wanted to, and again. And there's a lot, lot more, but this video is getting too long. Satellite connections, but you need a proper SIM card. Let's stick with the benchmarks. And in the benchmark department, we do have 1,800,000 points, which means a regular score for Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Internal storage, which is a surprise, well, 2,000 for the right department. That's one of the biggest scores I've seen. What does that mean? It means multitasking will be astonishing on this. Well, it should be, judging by the scores. One of the biggest scores I've seen ever in the internal memo. If those numbers doesn't mean anything to you, let me show you a Geekbench. And in the Geekbench, we should have... Huh? Are we still in focus? All right. Also, one of the biggest score. The biggest I've seen was 666 in the multi, which was uh, Xiaomi 14. This is almost the same, 6629. It's just incredibly powerful. Compared to the Galaxy S23, yeah. But those sort of numbers doesn't mean anything if you're going to use them. Then games. We do have game mode. You can switch between balance and game and a couple of different settings. Space and stuff. Let's hit multiplier. It looks very smooth and wow. That's pretty cool. Okay. Okay, now they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Got him. Got him. Got another one. Another one. Wow! And he got me. He got me too. Camera. And in the camera, we do have aperture, which could be changed to different settings. Night mode. Portrait mode. Also controlled by voice, if you wanted to. Uh, take a photo. Photo. Snap. Hit. 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 I'm not sure which words are. Uh, words? Anyway, anyway, it is tracking my face nicely. <laughs> Again. All right. All right. We do have some filters, but you have to wait until they engage. That's pretty slow and annoying. Okay. In the photo department, of course, we do have autofocus and front facing camera, but you cannot do macro of it. But there's autofocus. And with the main lens, a beautiful macro, and I like that this line is straight, the control line. Most of the smartphones are curved lines, which is not convenient. This is much better. In the video, we can go 21 by 9 ratio, which is super cool, 16 by 9 um, in 4K 60. Dedicated night mode, of course, we do have shortcuts. Pro mode for the photo, you can shoot in RAW, and more. Multicam, story, document, super macro, slow motion, high res, watermark. Multi video is two cameras at the same time. You can choose a different style. I like this one. So you can put it whatever you like and shoot with uh, two cameras. Great for vlogging. But let me show you some samples for photo and video. You'd ask, why do you need autofocus in wide angle lens? To show something in close-up with tons of details, just like that, in wide angle, which is extraordinary. What is it? Well, something strange with fish.
Wow, what a tremendously sounding speakers. This smartphone is beautiful, front and back. It reminds me of jewelry. High quality materials. Like in the early Oppos when everything was shiny and beautiful. In the camera department, it is a little bit behind the ultra flagship for 2024, let's say 10%, but I think the engineers design it for something else. The camera is just to add the feature. They design it for beautiful experience in the menu. Because everything is just, ah, mm, mm, mm. All the wallpapers, all the small things are just easy to use and it's just, it's just floating. Everything is floating nicely. And you will have a fantastic experience using the smartphone for media consumption. Also for multitasking, gaming and stuff. And the quality itself, mm, wow. Well, there'll be a link in the description for you with an additional discount code so you'll save on the shipping. And I think that's all I have. Thanks for watching and see you next video.